What's up, Homestead Homies? It's Oscar with Doug and Stacy, and today I'm going to show you how to use your garden to fight off pests in your garden. Well, spring is here, and a lot of our brassicas are coming up, like our kales and our cabbages and our radishes and our great big cabbages. So we have to be on the lookout because I have been seeing those little unassuming white little butterflies that are flying around and some of you may think those little white butterflies look wonderful in your garden but they'll fly around and lay little eggs all over your plants and they turn into caterpillars and then these caterpillars will eat everything so what I want to do is I have made a homemade spray and what I think is so cool about this is everything that I put in this is from my garden all you're gonna need is a spray bottle some garlic You'll need about five or six cloves of garlic. You're gonna need a whole onion, and then you're gonna need some type of hot pepper. So it can be fresh hot peppers, it can be the ground peppers. I had some like red pepper mix. It was like jalapenos and cayenne, just a mixture that I had made from last year, last season, and then I had ground it up. So you could use cayenne pepper, anything like that. And you'll need about a tablespoon of the dried, or if you have regular fresh ones you can just go ahead and chop up you know like five or six of them and put them in there too and then you're also going to need one thing that i didn't get from the garden is some good natural dish soap and i really like to use the dr bronner's brand the peppermint flavor but you guys can use you know any other type of dish soap and you need probably you know five six seven drops of that too in order to do this you're going to need to boil some water about a gallon of water boil it and then take it off and just let it cool a little bit and then from there you're going to need a large onion you're going to chop it up and then you're going to need about five six cloves of garlic if they're smaller garlic i would get the bigger ones you know so that you can get more potency to your your bug spray that you're going to make and then you're also going to need a tablespoon of some type of dried hot peppers and then the last thing you're going to need is some natural soap, maybe five, six drops of the Dr. Bronner's. You're going to pour all the ingredients in your glass jar, pour the water over there. You're going to let it steep. I like to let mine steep overnight so it can get nice and potent. And then after the next day and after everything is cooled and everything has absorbed, stir it really well. And then I'm going to pour it through a strainer. And then I'm going to go ahead and bottle into my bottles and then save the remainder of it because I'm going to use it later. The best time to spray is generally toward the end of the day as the sun is going down because the plants aren't wet. And then I'm going to go ahead and mist them really good on the bottom, bottom leaves and all around. And then I'm going to do this probably once a week or so. Now it's good, you know, sometimes it's like, well, how do I know which plants to do? You can use this pretty much on any plants. If I see little holes and they've been eaten, then I'm going to go ahead and make sure and get them because I definitely do not want any little caterpillars or bugs eating my broccoli before I do. And that's a fact because I look forward to this every year. Now I can see on some of these radishes, there might be some little holes in them. And be careful because <laughs> I'm breathing this in. It's pretty potent. If it gets on your uh, hands, make sure you wash your hands. <coughs> and the wind's blowing in. Woo, man, it's potent. And over here I planted some carrots and some cabbage. They love to be together, carrots and cabbage. So I have some cosmic purple carrots coming up here. You can kind of see some of them. I'm gonna have to thin them out. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do some of my kale now because I've noticed some of the kale is getting eaten on. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that now and finish the rest of my plants. I have some um, Swiss chard and a lot of other greens. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. But I hope you guys enjoy this little tip because it works really well. It's very easy. And then when I get done with this, I'll just use uh, what I have left over and I'm going to do it about once a week. If it rains, of course, it'll get washed off and you'll need to do it again. But once a week is about what you need to do and it works out great. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, and don't forget, we're going to be in Layman's and Kindred, Ohio with Joel Salatin on June 29th and 30th. So if you can, we'd love to see you. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.